I'm not gonna muck you around. There are time cards below, let's jump straight in. My first deal, probably the best one of the entire lot, goes to Civilization VI. At 90% off for the base game, you're looking at something like six or seven US dollars to pick up what is probably still the most popular turn-based 4X historical strategy game on the market. Even though it released in 2016, Civilization VI continues to receive updates as well. And while the recent launch of the Leaders Pass might have been absolutely botched in terms of the release of the update, I gotta give credit where credit's due. Civilization VI has evolved and developed into a really wide-reaching historical strategy game with all sorts of game modes to choose from. Speaking of which, you're presented with a little bit of a complicated challenge when it comes to buying the game. My recommendation would be to, either for new players, check out that one at the bottom. Just the base game, Sid Meier's Civ 6, 90% off. If you're looking to expand your collection or you're familiar with the genre, my recommendation now has to go with the anthology up the top. The Platinum Edition, New Frontier Passes and others are sort of half measures that won't get you all the way there. Secondly, on my list, it's Age of Empires 4 at 33% off. Now Age of Empires 4 is an interesting one, it released just a little over a year ago and that means that this sale at 33% off is not only one of its best ones but also comes as a part of the anniversary edition and the anniversary update. Now it's important to note of course that like many other games, Age of Empires 4 is available at least at the time of recording to my knowledge on Game Pass for PC. So of course if you have that, this doesn't apply to you. This is a Steam sale after all. Important to note for the commenters below. Age of Empires 4 at 33% off is a reasonably good buy and they also dropped the price uh, over the last year on Steam as well. So the base price has come down and now it's a further 33% off. You can't really go wrong, it's a very enjoyable title, maybe not quite as much as the second but I'll leave that debate up to you in the comments below. Moving along to my third entry on the list, it's Dune Spice Wars. Dune Spice Wars is in an early access state still and therefore its discount is 20% off, it's somewhat smaller than some of the other discounts that we might see for older more released titles. Dune Spice Wars is a game that I personally had an incredible amount of fun with and it recently received its third big update coming in the first sort of year or so of its early access roadmap, the Air and Sand update, which delivered on just that, additional units in the air, changes to the sand. And we're expecting future updates coming to bring Heroes of Dune, to bring more uniqueness and variety to characters in the game. Overall, Dune Spice Wars is a real-time strategy game. As I said at the start, it's still in early access, so it's important to note that this is still a changing landscape, but we know for sure that it will keep its roots in real-time strategy, but blending some 4X elements as well. It's a very interesting experience, and no, it's not just for fans of Dune. I went into it almost completely blind and came out of it, a fan of both Giant Worms and the franchise as a whole. Moving along, back to strategy and now moving into the real hardcore, this is Hearts of Iron 4 and it's 75% off. Of course it presents itself at a familiar but really noteworthy discount. If you're gonna pick up a grand strategy game out of Paradox Interactive, a 75% off discount is probably the time that you want to do it. It's probably the best deal that you're gonna get. And Hearts of Iron 4 of course doesn't disappoint. And like most of the other things that I include on my list, I like to include titles that are still being updated, that are still evolving. That way you're not picking up a dead game, quote unquote, for lack of a better word. And of course, Hearts of Iron 4 doesn't disappoint, much like Civilization VI. It was released in 2016, but it continues to receive updates, arguably many more than Civilization VI. So there's plenty of variety to choose from and to add on to the base game, which I would recommend you start with if you're unfamiliar with the franchise, because as a grand strategy game, Hearts of Iron may present a few challenges for beginners. And it's not too dissimilar from the next entry on my list. This, everybody, is a grand strategy game in space. It is, of course, Stellaris. And coming out of Paradox Interactive, not to sound like a broken record, although I did put these two together in the list for a reason, 
it comes in at 75% off. Of course, making it a really brilliant pickup. Stellaris is arguably a little bit easier to understand than Hearts of Iron 4, despite being in space. Although, of course, being a grand strategy game in space, it presents a completely different setting, a sci-fi setting. It has deep roots in 4X strategy, but real-time elements as well that pull together into that ultimate combination of grand strategy. Stellaris, for me, even though there are some great competitors out there, remains my personal favourite space strategy simulation game across the board. And I don't give it that title lightly, there are other great entries I notice also as an honourable mention on this list. Uh, Endless Space 2 is a 75% discount I believe as part of Sega's sale. An honourable mention to go alongside Stellaris because they both have the same discount and they are both fantastic games. Although, like everything else on this list, Stellaris continues to deliver with DLC releasing just a couple of months ago and more on the horizon. Moving along to the next entry on my list, something a little bit different. This is a base building open world game, Satisfactory. And at 40% off, this one is, I promise you, a real gem. It's had nearly 100,000 reviews on Steam, and somehow it's still holding at 97% positive. That's overwhelmingly positive, and for very good reason. The footage you're watching, by the way, is a really recent trailer released, I think, just two months ago for Update 6. Satisfactory continues to receive a lot of love, and whether you're playing it in single player or arguably the better experience, if you happen to have some friends in multiplayer, I think you'll really enjoy Satisfactory. A first person open world factory building game might not sound like the most exciting thing, but when you combine it with exploration and combat, the multiplayer elements and the alien worlds that are around you that are fantastical and innovative in nature, I think you'll really enjoy your time with Satisfactory. 40% off is a pretty decent discount for the game as well, I'd highly recommend you check it out. Moving along to the next entry in my list from back in 2017, this, my friends, is Total War, Warhammer 2, at 66% off. And if it looks a little bit dated to you, I'll also throw in here an honourable mention for its follow-up 3, not on as great of a discount, and doesn't review as well, and it's the reason why it doesn't star as the show piece here in this section of the video. If you're a Total War fan, of course, as I mentioned earlier, Sega is having a discount across their entire franchise. So it'd be important to check across all of Total War because some of the historical ones, more honorable mentions here everybody, uh, are also on some reasonable discounts. I'd recommend you check out the entire catalog, however, Total War Warhammer 2 gets my personal vote. Moving along, and I have a personal link below because I'm part of the partner program, this isn't a sponsored video, that link is always there, is Humankind. If you like games like Civilization VI or Civ V, those 4X historical strategy games, I think you'll really enjoy Humankind. At least I do. That'll be no secret to regular viewers of the channel. Humankind released a little over a year ago. It most recently, as of a couple of weeks ago at the time of recording, received its first expansion pack, which has expanded upon what you're looking at here. It's a diplomatic system with embassies and treaties and all sorts of other things that I won't go into here. What you need to know is that a 50% off discount purchasing it through Steam is a fantastic discount for humankind. In fact, I think it's the best one that we've seen for the game. And it makes sense. Now, it's a year after it's came out. It's hit the ground a little bit mixed on response, initial responses and reviews, and they do somewhat remain that way. I'm optimistic for the future of humankind personally, and I still very much enjoy playing it. And at 50% off, if you're looking for something a little bit different, if you're tired of the civilizations of old, then humankind may very well be for you. Humankind is, like a couple of other things on this list, of course, part of the wider uh, Sega publishing group, so it's included inside of that Sega sale with Total War and others and I'd recommend again, if you've skipped to this section and missed some others, that you go and check out their entire catalogue, because there could very well be something for you there. If there's not, you might like this next entry. This, my friends, is Terra Invicta. And yep, it's only a 10% off discount. I know what you're thinking. How does a 10% off make this list absurd? And it may very well be. <laughs> Terra Invicta is a somewhat unknown, but incredibly popular game within its niche. It's a strategy simulation, it's a grand strategy game, 
from the creators of Long War, an alien invasion has divided Earth into uh, seven different playable factions, each with their own different views of what humanity should do, how we should interact with the aliens. You move through, try and take control of the different uh, nations of Earth, maybe unite the factions or dismantle others through espionage. The tactical combat system on Earth and then in space adds a whole new level to the game. A single playthrough of Terra Invicta could keep you for real in-game days on end. And that's before you crack out into the wider solar system and start to engage in extraterrestrial warfare. Terra Invicta is a really special grand strategy game. And I wanted to add it to this list, even though it's only a 10% off discount, I think this is absolutely one to watch. And moving along, last but not least, another one out of Shiro games like Dune Spice Wars earlier, this is Northgard. And Northgard is a more familiar title. It's probably their most widely known game, around 40,000 reviews on Steam, and very positive ones at that. Northgard is a city building, real time strategy, colony simulator, I suppose, all in one. It has a really neat a territory mechanic to its map and its world that really encourages you to explore and develop while also balancing the harsh need to survive. It continues, like everything else on this list, to receive updates and great content and generally speaking has been fantastically supported by its developers. Thank you so much for joining me for this list of my picks for the Steam, Steam Autumn Sale or you know spring if you're not in that half of the world uh, i'd really like it if you could add your suggestions down below in the comment section there are always things that i will miss or that just won't be on my radar and our hive mind can share good things so please do leave your suggestions below and i'll see you next time